Hey guys, today in this video I'm going to be unraveling a little bit of a tale on how your boy got entangled in a contractual conundrum to say the least with a company that, to be nice, we'll just call them Cash Vacuum because they seem keen on sucking the money right out of my wallet with their contractual shenanigans and we took care of it and with a little bit of uh, digital diplomacy, if you will, with our friend ChatGPT. We managed to bust out of it, and it's a soccer field with email skirmishes, robotic repartee, a little bit of it, and, you know, some more emails. So, I want to take note on this one. Our tale begins whenever I had uh, gave Cash Vacuum a phone call about wanting to cancel the subscription. You know, I don't, I don't really even need to get into why I wanted to cancel the subscription. Um, yeah, because it's a company with a fake name of Cash Vacuum. Anyways, in response to the voicemail that I left, I guess we can say that the tale begins with the email um, from Cash Vacuum, where client retention manager Courtney dropped a bomb on me. Apparently, I was on a yearly subscription, and canceling it would cost me a small fortune of only $5,600. Courtney said, if you no longer want to use cash vacuum and would wish to proceed with canceling, your current term balance $5,600 is owed. I mean, I, I, I think I would remember whenever I signed up for, you know, this wallet draining adventure, but I, at this point, have no recollection of it, all right? I mean, I feel like I would know that if I signed myself up for something $5,600, that at least I would have a copy of my papers or something in my email showing a signature or something like that. Now. I wasn't gonna just kind of let this slide. I mean, to be honest, it was $500 a month, okay? So I asked to see this mysterious contract that apparently had my signature, but all I got was a link to their pricing page. Not very convincing, right? The back and forth continued for a little bit with each response, the plot thickened, but the contract remained as elusive as a decent Wi-Fi signal in rural Mississippi. Now in our chat GPT, our favorite AI sidekick, Together, you know, we kind of, we crafted these emails that were polite to the point and asking for the proof of this alleged contract. With ChatGPT's help, I pinned a letter of inquiry. Could you kindly provide me with the documentation or evidence that indicates my consent to commit to this software for a 12 month period? Ah, the sweet sound of formal inquiry. As the email saga unfolded, the ghost of the contract continued to haunt the conversation. <laughs> I mean, Courtney tried to ghost me with a link to their website, but I was after the real phantom, the contract. But the silence from Cash Vacuum was louder than a vacuum cleaner at midnight. I mean, I think that it was time to crank up the pressure. And with a nudge from ChatGPT, I shot another email into the void of Cash Vacuum's customer service, or at least it seems. Stressing the absence of any valid documentation and urging them to just go ahead and cancel my subscription. I mean, I feel like they've had enough time to get me a contract. And at this point, it's just like $500 a month and you're, you're, you're going to send me a pricing page. All right. All right. I mean, I could say that days went by if we want to look at it from like whenever I hit it again with a second time back in August to get this done, but I had started this process back in May. So we can say months have rolled by. I mean, the suspense was only building here in August, but it's still it's still leaving a bad smell, a bad taste. Yeah. And I couldn't help but think like, were, was Cash Vacuum going to come through for me? Or were they busy just vacuuming other unsuspecting wallets? and? I'm kind of like the squeaky wheel, and except they don't have any grease to grease me up with. But then, a flicker of hope. An email popped up checking on the support ticket. But it was literally like being asked how you're doing while you're still stuck in the mud. And on top of that, they were saying that they were closing my support ticket because they weren't able to get in touch with me. Because they continuously tried to call me instead of just replying back to an email. And let me tell you something about phone calls. They're bullshit because no one takes you serious on a phone call. Everyone says whatever they need to say to get you off the phone call, but with an email, people are scared of emails. I personally believe that it's just a, you know, a track record. It is a little, literal, literally a 
place where you can prove all in one place. You can document everything that was said in a conversation. There is no confusion. It's the easiest way to get projects done and communication is effortless. Now the worst type of, of communication on a rant right here, but the worst type of communication are these damn voice messages. That's only convenient for one person and that's the mother it's literally only convenient for one person, and that's the person sending it. No one else. End of rant. End of rant. Anyways, anyways, there was a flicker of hope. An email did pop up checking on the support ticket. All right. And in the midst of this email odyssey that I'm on, Courtney reappears back on the scene, offering a phone call. Of course. But I wasn't ready to talk until I saw that contract. The same one that I've been looking for since a month after I started services. I shot back with a clear message, you know. I said, I hope this message finds you well. I'd like to reiterate my request from our previous emails. Before proceeding with a phone conversation, I'd like to review the contractual agreement that was signed. If this is impossible, please proceed with canceling my account immediately to ensure no further expenses on my end. Timely communication on this matter would be greatly appreciated. I felt like that was very, very nice for my level of aggravation, but I need it to be noted, this was all chat GPT and if you look right here this is the prompt that I was using to get this response it is literally that easy and then after all these months all these days of aggravation not knowing what's going on Courtney came through with a surprise twist a cancellation approval from the upper management this was very very unexpected because I had already given up on this back in the day and I'm like you know what after the 12 months it's just gonna drop off but, you know, the more I was playing with ChatGPT over and over, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm an emotional person whenever I get to emailing about th people not getting it, getting things canceled whenever I know they're in the wrong. It's, it's scamming people out of money. It really, really upsets me. And I get really upset whenever I start typing. I'm like rage typing. And so ChatGPT has <laughs> in a way made me a better person. <laughs> Because I'm able to articulate my thoughts in a way and I'm not even I don't even really have to articulate them whenever it can do it for there I can just put the facts there and say hey I want it to be this tone I don't want to look this type of way and it'll help me out now Of course it is a draft and you'll need to do some other fine tweaking of everything But I still I, I, I believe in this I have done so many different things with it I'll show more videos um, with different emails that I've done that literally you, you would have to pay a lawyer to get these emails written and uh, these letters sent out on your behalf uh, to get things done. And I, for a lot of it, it's not necessary. I'm not saying like don't have a lawyer to do things or by no means, but for little stuff like your little, you know, your, your petty contracts and things like that, all your little bills that you, you, you know, you want to fight it, but you really don't want to put the time and the effort into it. Man, use this tool because, um, just got an approval so end of rant Yay! i mean it was kind of like a digital fist bump moment between me and chat gpt whenever cash vacuum agreed to cancel this contract bro and after that like it was the sweet email of victory finally arrived confirming the cancellation courtney now <laughs> who wore the title as software retention manager pinned down your subscription has been canceled on our end and you will no longer receive any charges from cash vacuum in the future it was a roller coaster of emotions titles emails from client retention manager to software retention manager courtney's ever-changing titles were almost as elusive as the phantom contract itself but in the end the ties turned in our favor the cash vacuum saga was a testament to the power of persistence and you know a dash of a little ai magic just a dash this epic email odyssey was more than just a cancellation quest. It was a David vs. Goliath story. Hmm. Where a humble subscriber and a chunk of code triumphed against this contractual giant. No, no, it's just, it was just a bully. It was just a bully. It was just a bully. Yeah. And the final nail in that cash vacuum's coffin was that email of sweet, sweet expiration. A tale of triumph over contractual trickery, a journey from client retention manager to software retention manager for Courtney, and a friendship with ChatGPT that was forged in the furnace of email warfare. It's amazing what a little digital persistence and a robotic buddy like ChatGPT will do for you. If you enjoyed this tale of triumph over the clutches of cash vacuum and, you know, my little contractual escapade, smash that like button and share your own tales of customer service escapades in the comments below. 
And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe for any more adventures that I have in my day to day, just everyday life on what I'm doing, which is boring most of the time. Um, I've got plenty of things that I do day to day that I don't really think much of, but if I can give someone else a little bit of the entertainment that I have in my day, I'll do it. So let me know in the comments below, what type of customer service experiences have you guys had that you think ChatGPT might be able to help with? And if you're not sure, leave it in the comments. Let's see if we can't brainstorm on something together. Till next time.